Go scoot in Indiana. Yeah, yeah. I did. Um, they were one of the schools that offered me late, so I didn't really have. Um, I really didn't know much about them. Yeah, yeah. I went to the games growing up, but it wasn't a big school to me. Now. Hey, when we watch this defense right now, somebody brought to our attention, but I've been thinking it all along. You guys, there are so many times when you've got like nine guys within two or three yards of the line of scrimmage. I mean, an aggressive look. You're trying to make people think. Obviously, on that last play the other night, yeah. you know, you and Malik are almost like you're jumping one from one gap to the next and stuff just before the snap step. But I guess, well, man, how fun is it to play a defense like that where you're aggressive? Um, it's 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 something you that what I'm saying. I, you know, everybody yeah, I know, I know that what you're way. saying. Yeah. Um, it's something I was brought into. I don't really know any different. Um, but I like playing aggressive defense. Although one little mistake can lead to something big, but consistently we're doing the right thing. Um, but it is fun. It's uh, awesome to see many times we can make good plays. Yeah, but you know, is it? I mean, was it reinforced again this week that? Playing aggressive brings responsibility from the standpoint of, of course, when it comes out of the gate. I mean, yeah. I, I, how much have y'all addressed that? Because you know, it, it's, those plays are kind of like lightning. You know, yeah. they're good coming, they're gone, but but they hurt real bad, I guess, right? I mean, so what have y'all reinforced this week? I guess. Oh, I wouldn't say we have reinforced anything. <clears throat> um, just sticking to the same assignment, doing the same thing. Um, as far as sticking a lot of people in the box, I wouldn't say that's something that was like reinforced again this yeah. week. Um, that's just something that we do and we're going to continue to do. Yeah. Uh, and I'm talking about, you know, giving up the big play this before halftime and stuff. Uh, yeah. You know, obviously there's somebody there who's got to turn the guy, make him, you know what I mean, things like that. How much of y'all in, in like, I guess, the group whole total defense meetings, if y'all talked about that? About it? I wouldn't say we spent so much time about it. Um, we played a great, we played a great offense that averaged 55 points a game. And uh, I think we played great team defense. So big plays like that, small assignments were made that big play happen. But uh, you really, you really put a lot of focus on it. But then it's something where it's not a big teaching moment, other than it's man-to-man -man coverage. You got to yeah. be in the right place. So there's not much to be said about it. So um, you know, that's just something where you're just gonna have to take another step. Do you feel like you're? I mean, you guys are back to number three in the polls this week. You feel like you're on a very good football team. I mean, what, what does it feel like from week to week as you're living this? Obviously, last week was a big hump. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just a great experience to like be a part of this ongoing. Yeah. Um, it feels like just a, like a path. Like you start high and then keep going and going and going yeah. to see where you are the rest of the season. So it's just fun to be a part of. Um, being part of great teams is always awesome. Do you feel like the linebackers have been able to kind of – have you cleaned up a few things, though, in terms of fits and tackling from the first couple of games? Or you feel I like wouldn't say we cleaned up any fits. Um, we've always had the same assignments. Tackling, we've just put more emphasis on it. Um, I wouldn't say our system has changed. We've always yeah. had the same system. We just um, kind of focused a little bit more on it because that's what we've struggled um, mm -hmm. the first few games. But, uh, yeah, we put a lot of emphasis That's more I just meant that guys executing where they're supposed to be yeah. you know, consistently. I mean, how do you feel as a guy who's playing, you know, a lot for the first time? How do you feel like you've progressed so far this season? Um, I think I've gotten better reading my keys. Um, I think I've just playing in there, getting more reps and reps. Uh, you feel more comfortable um, overall. You see formations, recognize what's coming. Um, it's just something that through repetition you get better and better with. Pete, could you, could you believe on that fourth down play they ran what they ran? I mean. Coach Meyer told us that the talk on the headphones between the defense coaches was that he expected his own read there. <laughs> and, and they do it. I mean, meanwhile, Trace McSorley I was definitely, has set a school record, you know, in the meantime, yet he doesn't end up with the ball in his hands. You know what I mean? But, yeah. And number two, y'all had almost a perfect call. Yeah, we did. We had a, the perfect call for that uh, situation. Um, we were in a, more of a pass passing. Right. Um, down, so. They were in the nickel, right? I mean, yeah. Um, so it was something where I had the back, and then Malik had the spy, but then he motioned to the other side, so Malik now had the back and I had the spy. So um, it put us out of position, so they did a good job of that. But I was definitely not expecting his own read. I was yeah. expecting something like quarterback, but they knew we were probably keying that a lot. So I, I wouldn't say it was a bad play call. Well, yeah, but well, when Jay Shaw, exactly, but Jay Shaw and Cornell, you know, obviously yeah, he, engaged the guard. Yeah. The tackle couldn't chase Chase, pardon yeah. the expression. Mm -hmm. And she's up through there like, I mean, 
Have you ever seen a play almost work that perfectly? It, it worked out perfectly, yeah. yeah. We kind of played the quarterback run, those stunts that we had for, from both the tackle and the end. Yeah. It worked out perfectly yeah, in that situation. Thanks, man. Thank you. Pete, I'm sorry if somebody asked you this earlier. I'm sure they did. But is this the is that the best overall performance for the linebackers so far this year on Saturday? I would say so, yeah. Especially for a big game like that. I feel like we all graded out champion. Um, we just did a great job all around. Did a lot better tackling and um, focusing on the ball. Did you guys need a performance like that? You know, we've asked you assuming every week you're out here about the big plays and all that stuff. Did you need did you guys ever feel like you needed a game to kind of validate that progress and show? I think we did, especially from the games in the past, not really performing as best as we could. Having a game like that to kind of step through, break through that barrier, especially with a big, big game like Penn State, playing in Happy Valley, it was, it was a big step. So, yeah, I'm happy. Pete, I don't know how much you read social media or watch TV or whatever, but you ever got annoyed by people coming down on the linebackers? It seems to be like a hot button thing. I think that's the general gripe from the fan base right now. Is it misguided and is it annoying to read? Oh, I'm not big on social media. I've seen a few things, but not. I'm not big on it. Um, so I don't really know. Probably, you probably know a little bit more about it than I do. Um, but yeah, it would be a little annoying. Although I haven't seen it that much. Um, not a big Twitter, whatever. When when they when people say that the linebackers are underperforming this year, mm -hmm. what is your reaction to that? And is that a misguided viewpoint? I think that there's a lot of things that outside sources don't know. Um, they see things that aren't exactly true. They expect things out of players that are not necessarily expected. Um, I think it's confusing why somebody would like come to a conclusion and tweet something when they don't know what's going on on the inside. So that it's just confusing to me. I, I think it's kind of humorous sometimes, but um, it's just the way that it, the way that it goes. What would be some of those things? I mean, you know, maybe without going into too great a detail, but that you see that we don't see and the general public doesn't see that you can say hey you know chill out we got this and you know this is kind of what's going on and this is why you know maybe some of the things that are happening would be happening um i just think that we're going through practice we're doing these things it's it's kind of a hard question to answer um <clears throat> we're just doing our thing it's not people saying those things it's hard for us to respond to i guess